Julie Soto writes, Hi, Movie Talk crew. I'm a huge fan of the Coen brothers and almost all of their movies, so you can imagine my excitement about Hail Caesar. I was just wondering if you guys have had a chance to see the film, and if so, what did you think? Thank you, and keep bringing on the filthy. Love you, Ashley. I love you, babe. <laughs> um, yeah, as many of you know, uh, Hail Caesar, I can't remember exactly where on my list, it was in my top 10 most anticipated films of this year. Absolutely. I loved the trailer. So it was with great enthusiasm and excitement that I went to go see it last night. Clearly, you can tell, pardon me again, from the trailers that this movie is kind of designed to be like a love letter to classic Hollywood cinema. And on that level, it knocks it out of the park because they do little tributes to the old westerns, to the musicals, to the like Roman epics, to, to all these different types, and they do them really, really well. Unfortunately, and I think this is what I told you, Mark, when we walked out of the theater, I said it feels like they were so intent and so focused on making a love letter to classic Hollywood that they forgot to make a good movie around it. And so like, I didn't walk out hating the film, not at all, but understanding that it was like one of my 10 most anticipated films of the year, to me, it just lacked. Like, the trailer set up this story. I'm going to give no spoilers away. The trailer set up the story that George Clooney gets kidnapped, and that's the story of the movie. And essentially, that is the story of the movie, but it's so weak and has such an unsatisfying ending, and it's just, it doesn't go anywhere. So you have all these great kind of set pieces throughout the movie that have no real cartilage connecting them because that's what that main storyline is supposed to connect it all. And when that part fell flat, I just walked out disappointed. Not a horrible movie. I'm not going to tell people not to go see it because it's got a lot of redeeming qualities about it. It really does. So take my reaction with a little bit of grain of salt because my anticipation was so high and it just didn't really come anywhere near the anticipation. One other thing I got to point out, uh, and I hope you don't consider this a spoiler. This isn't a story point. But in every poster and in every trailer, you see Jonah Hill. Heads up warning, Jonah Hill is in one scene in the movie and I think has four lines. <laughs> that's, that's you, that scene you see him in the trailer, that's the only scene and it's not a long scene. And then he's not in the rest of the movie. Like not in the rest of the movie. Imagine if Luke Skywalker had been on every poster for Star Wars <laughs> and in every trailer and then it turns out you got, a, you got what you got in Star Wars The Force. It would have been outraged. I mean, obviously people weren't lining up around the corner just to go see Jonah Hill in the film, but still that, that felt a little misleading to me. But anyway, Mark, you saw the film with me last night, your reaction. Well, it's the first time I've heard Luke Skywalker compared to Jonah Hill. That was pretty good. <laughs> um, I was not disappointed by this movie because I didn't really have any expectation going in. It, it was shocking to me to see the reaction of my fellow comrades here at Collider Video that were just so excited by the Hail Caesar trailer. I get the name, the Coen brothers, and I get all the town involved just watching the trailer. I was like, that oh, looks like a pleasant time of the movies. I'll chuckle a little bit. I'll see some cool old Hollywoody kind of stuff. And that's what I got out of this movie. Josh Brolin, as a Hollywood fixer, was my favorite part of the film. He's taking you through the movie. All these other side adventures, I just didn't feel like they went anywhere that I needed to go. I didn't care about seeing those. But I do agree with John that the Coen brothers do something really special in most of their movies where they get a lot of credit for being great writers and, and, and genius wit and all that kind of stuff. But they put in a few scenes that are just so visually stunning and so much fun fun to watch that it just leaps off screen and it's like I didn't expect that it doesn't necessarily add to the story that the movie's telling but it's really fun to watch so I think if you're in the theater you can enjoy watching this film I just wouldn't get that jacked up for it because I don't think it's worth it yeah after these guys have crushed my dreams <laughs> I, I haven't seen the film yet I love the Coen Brothers movies except you know, I could pick out two and be like these ones I didn't like but their body of work is incredible N now going in so I'm going to see it this Friday going in knowing what to, to not expect a great story, but to know that there's a, ser a series of scenes that, like, you know, go back to like a Barton Fink or a Hudsucker proxy. Some of those moments in their in their past films where they're like kind of exploring what, what it was to be like in the behind the scenes of Hollywood, knowing that that's going to be what the film basically is. I'm prepared for it. I'm going to go in with medium expectations, and I'm hoping I and I come out digging it. Can I ask you what? Because I know you love the Coen Brothers, but you said you're not a huge fan of all their movies. What are the movies that stand out to you that they just kind of missed the mark? Intolerable on? Cruelty was is my top one, and then uh, coming in a close second is The Man Who Wasn't There, which I like the first hour, but then when, once they go to trial, it just kind of falls huh, apart, at least huh. for me. But every other film from Raising Arizona, Barton Fink, Hudsucker Proxy. Yeah. Uh, Fargo, I Lebowski, mean those guys, yeah. the big Lebowski, just amazing roles as well as just, you know, they just wrote Bridge of Spies. They're very diverse. They could write a lot of different things. So 
I'm looking forward to this film mm -hmm. with, but now I know I know what to expect. Just yeah, so. adjust your expectations. But hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.